Well, kind of a tough day over in the grain markets. Let's talk about corn. Uh, normally, September crop conditions you really wouldn't be paying too much attention to, but uh, we've all, we've kind of had to because we've got everything in so late. Uh, they improved the 1% uh, last night, and that's got enough for things to tail off. You need to feed the bull every day. There wasn't anything bullish. A slightly better improvement in crop conditions has sent the market kind of tailing off. Um, it's interesting to see that uh, after the 22% bounce that we've had just as of late, um, after the crop, after the uh, USDA, uh, we're kind of tailing off number one because of that 1% crop uh, improvement, but also I think in sympathy with crude oil. Um, again, you need to feed the bull every day if you've got some sort of bullish story going, and when things run out, folks start to get out of their positions, maybe take some stuff off the table. So a nice 22% bounce, and we're kind of retrenching here, and that's seen the market sell off a little bit. Now, if you're a bull <laughs> and you want to see it higher, uh, you're going to have to take some comfort in the fact that the funds or managed money is still short about 145,000 contracts. Well, what's the big deal about that? Well, if they're short, you know, a buyer is a buyer. So if they come back to buy the market, that's still buying. Uh, if they come all together, that could be something that we would see some sort of squeeze in the market. Uh, and if we squeeze, you're going to have to see the technicians kind of come in and take over. And there's a gap in Dees Corn around 388 to 393. So we're going to have to see maybe some sort of short covering from all those funds that are short the 140,000, 145,000 uh, corn contracts that could help squeeze us up to those levels. And maybe we can do a technical fill the gap and that would kind of give the bulls what they need. But right now, you know, it just seems to me with what's happening in Europe and the interest rates not working, negative interest rates and the strong dollar, I smell a little deflation coming around the corner, something to keep an eye on.